Okay, so um, I just want to talk about briefly um, how to spot uh, pump and dumps before the actual pump. Now, I know that this is kind of a bold statement and I, I need to preface this by saying it takes a long time to really um, to, to get the patterns down intuitively wh where you know um, uh, what is a pump and dump and what is what it's not. Um, you know, but with the right software, uh, you can make this learning curve, you can speed up the learning curve uh, much, much quickly. Um, and in particular, um, uh, what, I, what I use is Trade Ideas. It's a um, scanning software. I'll bring up my window here. So for ORPN on, um, on Friday, um, I, I like to talk about this because it's kind of kind of a fairly typical pattern. You get a pump in the morning and then it just kind of fades off for the rest of the day. Um, so uh, I was first alerted in in trade ideas at uh, at 9:39 here, as you can see, um, which <coughs> is right there on the first green candle. And of course, um, and at this point, it was very, very low volume. It was only 16,000 shares. But it, it first tipped me off to take a look at it. And, and these pump and dumps follow a, a very similar pattern. Um, in, order to, in order to spot them, you have to try to think like a pumper. You know, what, what would a pumper do to he wants to his goal is to to lure in people right he wants to generate momentum so so trying to think like a pumper like what what can he do to draw in more people so obviously he's not going to pump all of his shares at one time what they typically do is they 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 pump a little bit at a time so you often see like a stair stepping action before the stock begins to go parabolic and so um what you what you you generally see on on your alerts and on the charts um is you see these these high a days and then a small pullback and then more more high a day and then another small pullback and then more um, more high days and then it continues on like that so we see our first little pump here at 939 and then not until 941 where we see another little pump and then it continues on so the more you get these little repeating pumps the more you can be confident that the stock will continue on okay now they don't always follow that same type of pattern, but generally speaking, um, that's what I've seen. Okay, and it, it begins at a fairly low volume, below 50,000 shares. Um, and that's the problem with a, a lot of a lot of guys on YouTube when when they set their scanners and they they often use Thinkorswim. Um, they're looking for stocks above 50,000 shares, and so. By the time you see them past 50,000 shares, it's already it's already made most of its move. So um, so you have to be looking for you have to be looking for it below 50,000 shares. That's one of the key uh, the key bull flags that I look for. And obviously, it has to be a low float stock because um, Pump, that's what pumpers gravitate to. They they gravitate towards stocks that that they can easily push up with relatively few shares, and and so it would be on people's high of day momentum uh, on their on their uh, high of day scanners relatively quickly. So um, yes, yeah, so at, oh, at only 50,000 shares, the stock was up 14% already. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of a, a quick overview of what I use uh, to spot these pump and dumps and to get in on them on the ground floor. And um, now, I, I need to also say these are 
relatively high risk too because um, you have no support at this point so I generally just go in with a small starter um, position here depending on my confidence level and this this just takes time to build up over time I mean I'm, I'm six months in already and I'm still still getting comfortable with with sizing up on this on at the ground floor um, but you know with time I, I'd imagine that I can size up even more as I um, you know as I as I learn these patterns um, but that's that's it so yeah so I was in um, at o ORPN I was in a little bit late 283 I think is when when my first entry was um, so that was around yeah it was around 944 um, yes yeah, so right around right around here um, I was waiting for the confirmation of just a little bit more volume to come in and um, let me just show you on book map so I brought it up I brought ORPN up on book map at 943 and 45 seconds and I'll just play it here so we were we were here um, and I was just waiting for that final little push from a from for more buyers to come in okay and that 2,000 shares uh, a couple 2,000 share buyers there and a couple more buyers there and that's that's all I needed to know right and the rest is history okay so um, you know if if this pump and dump was to fail um, it would have failed around here um, and by this point this let's pull these volume bars up um, people at, at this point are interested you can you can tell by the amount of volume coming in now that um, the pump the pumper has achieved his goal he's achieved the goal of drawing in more buyers and since it's still relatively at the beginning of the move you um, you can be fairly confident that you'll have some more follow through now I should note that this was a Friday and the market was a little bit slow on Friday so this was really the the only major or I wouldn't say major but um, the only real play in terms of a pump and dump on Friday um, so you have that factor as well there was no news um, but the fact that people were kind of itching to jump in on something because there weren't really many other plays going on uh, was another factor I was considering so it was a fairly confident play the, that you can jump in here and as the volume was coming in that um, it would see follow through okay now um, again this takes time to to learn but as I said with programs like trade ideas um, which can alert you very 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 quickly on the ground floor and with good good charting software um, with a fast data speed where you can you know you can see the time in sales in level two or or with book map you know you can see the volume coming in very quickly uh, you can make a split-second decision and jump in uh, on the ground floor okay so that is ORPN the typical pump and dump and how to get in without having to do any fundamental analysis at all this is just simply reading the chart, reading the price action and the volume. 
and that's all you need on many of these plays. You don't need to be waiting for months or weeks to for the stock to, to pump. You can get in um, pretty pretty close to the ground floor, you know, by just watching your your uh, your scanner and the volume and price action. All right. So hope this helped you guys. Take care.